Hey guys, this is Brian at Midwest Digital Corp. Today we're showing you the Soliton Zao S. The Zao S is an H.265 encoder or HEVC. The encoder is right here. I'm trying to do this with an iPhone, unfortunately. Uh, anyways, the encoder is here. It has one hour of internal battery power. And this here inside there is another battery which gives you an additional three hours. So we have two of these and we have one of this. So we're basically looking at seven hours of battery time. Up here we have our modems. These are 4G modems. I have one AT&T and then I have one that's Verizon. Third one I have nothing plugged in right now. We have an HD-SDI output coming out of here. We can also uh, output HDMI and we also have a USB connector in here also. We can also put in a, um, in the USB connection, we can do an Ethernet connection. So we can do um, Intermarsat. So we have many different other inputs. What I want to show you now though is we have the HD view. This is the receiver software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the power button. This may take a second or two. And right away you see the receive and the send flags back and forth. Once you see those are moving, that means that we have data running through the system. We have number two, which means we're only using the second modem. The second modem is on. Right away on the receiver software, we are showing live video. It says 23 frames per second, but that's actually an internal Soliton um, service menu that they use. We're actually at 60 frames per second. And this number here is at uh, 1,284 kilobits. That should go up to about five megabits per second. We have a couple presets. We can do 1.5 megabits per second. We can do five or max. Max on the system now is between five and six. Um, this is our source right here, this JVC camera. We have an HD SDI output here going to this monitor. And we also have our signal here, which is an HDMI output. Um, we're using a lightning connection out of this going into an, um, a Blackmagic Ultra Studio mini monitor output. And from this, we can convert from our uh, lightning connection to HDMI and HDSDI. So within that one minute period, we are basically at 5.2 megabits per second. It says we have an SDI input and we're using, where it says LA, that is the VPN that we're using as far as the connection. There's not much going on in the street, so you really can't see that much going on. But anyways... I'm going to turn on the HDSDI monitor just to show you that we are outputting HDSDI and HDMI. So once this turns on, we know our system works. There we go. So we have one complete system. Oh, another thing is besides HDMI or HDSDI output, you also get a uh, social media output, which is actually in the receiver software. For more information on this, or if you are interested in a demo, please call me at 708-790-4040 or email me at sales at midwestdig.com. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.